In the city of Hampton, mm -hmm. one might ask, who doesn't know the police chief? Good evening, I'm Stephanie Hudson. And I'm Regina Mobley. Hampton native Jimmy Weidman was named police chief two weeks ago. He has worked in many facets of law enforcement. I talked to the chief today about how he will use his experience and contacts to take back the community. The late Chief Pat Manetti was at the helm in 1994 when Bethel High School graduate Jimmy Weidman took an oath to protect and serve the people of Hampton. How does it feel to be the top law enforcement huh. officer in your hometown? Well, it's amazing. I'm still getting used to the whole title. From patrolman to the FBI Academy, the detective division and more, Chief Jimmy Weidman has witnessed a sharp escalation in violent crime in his hometown. According to the police department, there have been 63 shootings so far this year, compared to 43 shootings at the same period last year. The numbers tell only part of the story. It seems to be that Hampton has turned into something of a drive-by location for a crime. That's a very good observation. It just so happens that geographically we're located kind of like in a center hub location for others. This is just the latest in what is on track to be a record year of homicides, at least in the last two decades for the city of Hampton. One week ago, a Chesterfield, Virginia man was killed in Hampton while sitting in a car. In early June, two people were shot in different locations along Interstate 64. Times have changed. Law enforcement has changed. As a black police chief, how do you think that your presence at the top will make a difference in this community? Well, our police agencies are more a reflection of our communities. And so as our communities become more diverse, so should our police departments. Weidman said, we can't arrest our way out of the problems. What we have to do is educate our community. For more on how the chief plans to take back the community, and what a member of the do-gooders of Hampton Roads has to say about the escalation in crime. See this story on wavy.com.